Good morning. Uh, it is five minutes of seven, but um, as you can probably hear, it's raining. Uh, so it's kind of dim out, uh, so I'm providing this extra light and blinding myself. Um, it's about 50 degrees, uh, so nowhere near as cold as the forecast once again. I don't know what it is with the uh, weather forecast. Uh, so that's a good thing, because uh, it's going to be raining all day. Uh, you know, so... And it's, I think I said last night, if it's going to if it's going to do that, uh, the last day is is uh, the preferred day. Uh, so we have to get up and, and get packed up and uh, and get moving. Uh, we got 12 miles to do to get out to the end of the trail at uh, Amoryville Road in Lake Placid. Uh, I told him two to three uh, and. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I might have to, you know, intentionally slow down uh, to avoid sort of being early, but on the other hand, I'm not going to be dawdling much today. There are, uh, I think, two shelters we'll go to. The brand new one that's not in the guide or on the map, and then a moose pond. Uh, so we'll try to take a look there. But other than that, we might not be in a position to do a lot of uh, filming today. Um, you know, but there's not a lot to see. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll try to do something at the end, but I'll probably be cold and tired by the time I get right to the parking lot. Um, uh, just to set the expectation. But, uh, so I'm going to get up and, and start uh, getting ready. Oh, in the middle of the night last night, about right around midnight, uh, the, the breeze kicked in, and it started raining yet. So uh, I got up and I and I uh, dropped out of porch mode and closed the ends because uh, I was a little nervous about conditions. Um, and it's probably a good thing I did that. So, but now I'm kind of stuck in here. So that's what our morning looks like. So it's not raining hard. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's rain enough for everything to be soaking wet, of course, including the, the brush I have to walk out of here to get out to the trail. So I'm going to be pretty wet uh, from at least uh, probably mid-thigh down, uh, just getting back out to the, the trail. Um, it is what it is. Uh, well, all right. So, so we've started the process of packing up, um, and we'll continue. And uh, while I'm doing that, you can look at the map. When we leave the one remaining lean-to at Duck Hole this morning, we'll initially be following Roaring Brook, uh, then leave the brook and eventually make our way to Moose Pond Lean-to. A little further along, we'll come to the side trail to Wanika Falls, which we may or may not have time to visit. The remaining six miles or so parallels the Chubb River until it eventually reaches the trailhead at Averyville Road. It's 10 minutes of nine. <laughs> New record. Uh, but we're ready to start walking finally. Uh, it's not raining much. It's raining a little. Uh, my wife says maybe it'll taper off by 11, but, you know. Uh, to the extent I'm going to get wet, I think I'm going to get wet from a uh, damp brush. Uh, I guess at this point, there's not much chance of my being uh, real early uh, at the trailhead. Time to go. Well, actually, not more than five minutes uh, up the trail. We come to the new unnamed shelter. Um, it's very nice. Um, one of the reasons that I didn't, uh, pursue, you know, coming here is that shelters are created by, you know, trail crews, volunteers, whatever, uh, a group of people, but, uh, it, it seems, at least on the Northfield Placid Trail, campsites 
tenting areas uh, and whatnot are created by the herds. You know, <laughs> that the, there's no, they aren't set up officially. And that seems to be the case. Uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be a lot out there anywhere near here in terms of uh, camping areas. So I'm not gonna look around in more detail. It is very uh, nice shelter and it's, you know, nice to see them building in those shelters. There's a, there's a lot of old shelters on this trail and I'm not sure what kind of commitment there is to replacing them uh, as they deteriorate. But, uh, well, this is a hopeful sign. All right, uh, we need to keep moving. It's now about uh, seven minutes after nine, and here is the bridge you should not cross <laughs> uh, if you're on the Northfield Placid Trail. There's no sign here that says where it goes. I'd have to get out the map to, to know, but uh, it doesn't go to Lake Placid. Uh, the sign here is telling me that Moose Pond Lean 2 is uh, 3.5 miles. That lines up but that Lake Placid is 12.2, which means we've gone backwards two-tenths of a mile. But these mileages on the signs in the Adirondacks are uh, not always right. We'll put it that way. So uh, I, I think uh, this bridge is in the same state that it was in when Rob and Ed were here a year and a half ago. So. I, I guess, you know, the rest of the railings will come some other time. I should say that it's uh, actually no longer raining. Uh, I shouldn't say that like it's a permanent state of affairs, but at the moment it's not raining, and it's not even dripping too much. Um, you know, but my feet and lower legs are still pretty wet. Um, and that's the weather report. We are at the side trail to Wanika Falls, which is actually up that way. Uh, and you're looking south down the Northfield Placid Trail that way. Uh, so from here it is uh, six and a half miles to the Averyville Trailhead. So we're uh, perfectly positioned uh, to meet the 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, ETA that I gave to Kim. Uh, so that's good, but it doesn't leave us time, unfortunately, to take the quarter mile one-way side trip to see Wanika Falls. Uh, sorry, there hasn't been more uh, yakking, you know. Whoops. Uh, I would have done some talking at uh, Moose Pond Shelter, uh, but there was somebody there, and I was surprised to find it's a, it's a northbounder. Uh, he says he came into Duck Hole and, and saw that I was in the shelter, and he went back to Cold River 1 and 2. Uh, which was nice of him. Uh, so, and he's uh, he's lollygagging because he's not getting picked up uh, in Lake Placid until five. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, the trail has been rough, um, and, and since the rain, it's been wet and rough. Um, so, I'm I'm hoping it's going to smooth out between here and Lake Placid. But uh, well, it's been smoother. Uh, this side of, of Moose Pond Lean To. Uh, so hopefully that's a trend. Uh, well, all right. We probably won't talk again until the end, and I probably won't have a lot to say then. But I'll take some, some pictures along the way, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's 10 minutes of noon, 
and uh, this was the bridge over the Chubb River, uh, which we'll basically be following all the way into uh, Lake Placid, or at least the Averyville Road, uh, the trailhead. Um, so we've been walking exactly three hours, and if we keep up exactly the same speed, we'll be there at 10 minutes of three. Uh, the trail has been improving a little, and if that continues, then we'll be a little sooner. That would be nice. It's still not raining, but it's not improving. We'll keep going. It's five minutes of two, and it just started to rain, and I'm at Amoryville Road, and Kim's not here. Ah. All right, well, we have to go back to the uh, register and register out, see what happens. She's on the way. <laughs> she's, she, she's usually early, but, you know, I got a phone signal, and... Well, I sent her a message on the Delorme, and then it does sometimes take a while to go through. So I said, oh, I have a telephone. I can call her. So I did that. So now she thinks I'm harassing her. <laughs> but she should be here shortly. Okay, it's Saturday morning, and we've come full circle. We're, we're back at Wakely Dam, uh, and uh, the, the, the road, Cedar River Road, is almost 12 miles long to get here, and about 8 miles of it is paved, but the, the unpaved part is uh, graded very nicely, so you don't need to worry about that, unless there's a chance of snow, because <laughs> they don't plow it all. They only plow that first 8 miles. So uh, you want to be careful early and late in the season about that. Uh, so that's the trip. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.